What? What? Dude, this guy's tripping me out. <laughs> I'm not smart enough for this guy. A uh, knife? Uh, uh. Hello, peoples. My name is Gerald Point. No, welcome back to Ace Attorney Trilogy. Finally, we're getting set. We're in the second day of, of the the turn episode two turn uh, turnabout sisters. Can't speak right now. Right now, we just found about found out about Blue Corp, and it's time for me to go fucking just. Let's try to beat this fucking game already. September 7, Blue Corp Incorporated, CEO's office. Hmm. What's with this? What the? What's with the surreal decor? Welcome. Please f furnish me with the title of your personage. What the? Your name? What's your name? I was just inquiringly asking by the title that you go by. Uh, right, Phoenix, right. Inquiringly, what the hell? <clears throat> Mr. Wright, is it right? I see. Splendiferous, perhaps I have intimidated you with my gastic vocabulary. What is the, what is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, Cobra Expansion official. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I am not used to conversing with the wordily challenged. What a fruitcake, dude. What? Hmm. Let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of the law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for you for why... For why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yipes. This guy's arrogance uh, meter is off the scale. Alright, alright. Let me see your fucking... Hey, that's the painting. Haven't I seen this somewhere before? Is this a replica? Ridiculous. Ridiculosity. I have no interest in anything but originals. That's right. There is a bona fide original worth five million for sure. Hmm. Did he kill the other guy? An impressive lineup of trophies. Judges, special runner-up. Best participation, judges co cooperation award, special good try prize. Hmm. The word judges and special kind of stand out. Uh, a statue of a man holding up the world. The blue core sign uh, certainly stands out enough. The motto for the man is, of course, Mr. White. Truly a work of art, but probably too butacious for you to appreciate, correct? Uh, I think it's a little too potassium for just about anyone to appreciate. Jesus. Alright, this solid gold paint desk. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a desk? My, my, this is quite the thing. It is modeled on my body, you see. Well, does its sleek round, round dead chair inspire you? No, not at all. What is this? This is the top floor of a 20 story building. The view is quite presidential. Okay, we got everything, all of that out of the way. All right, all right. So I talk. I need to talk to you now. Talk to you about Miss May. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp. Is she not? Correct. She was my secretariat. What a shock it was to hear what she has done. What? What? <laughs> Dude, this guy's tripping me out. <laughs> I'm not smart enough for this guy. A uh, knife? Uh. Ah. Uh. What she has done, you mean the wiretap? Indeed! She is paid to answer phones, tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties, but I assure you, we do, do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. Uh, ineffable. That just reminds me of magic with a new Ugin Walker card. <laughs> it sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. Okay, night of the murder. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. I'm still Mr. White. The hotel bowboy has stated on record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter. The bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Hmm. He raises a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? 
He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh ho ho ho. The police. The courts. To me, they are mere toys. Playthings for my amusement. Blue Corp. What kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? Ah! Excellent question! We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future, you might say. We are the future. Sell information? In just 10 years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Ah, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. I, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder of CEO, named it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Fantastic blue, fantabuluistic, is it not? God, this guy is giving me a headache. Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. It's gorgeous, I've seen it before. Where did you get it? You know, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh? Just yesterday, actually. Your point being... My point is simple, or rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, a lawyer? No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer worth nothing. Zilch zippo nada. Just like the sorry excuse for an attorney, Grody Burger. What? Ah! Oof. Did this guy just beat me up? Uh, uh, he... He punched me! Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, huh? Charge me with assault? Charge away! I welcome it, for it is you who will be found guilty. What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say, so you say, but I wonder, is, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your comp compensation you came here from Grody Burgers I presume mr. gross mr. Grossberg's yes then you must ask him why is it that his paint his, this painting of his hangs here perhaps then he will tell you perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for for personal profit go on skedaddle there is nothing more to discuss Jesus, dude, fucking asshole. Alright, let, let, let's go back to Mr. Grodberg's hotel. Oh, I'm not. Oh, oh, here we go. I was like, where the fuck is this fucking office? Huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat. Ahem! Ahem! Jesus. Jumping Jisafots! Oh, you. What's wrong? You look so pensive like an old man at the end of his days. Oh, fuck, that was a phoenix. Hmm, I'm not seeing now yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something, Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. All right, here we go. Uh, Examine. I already checked everything, right? I just want to rem remember real quick again. Just check, check, check. All right. All right, let's talk to you, Mr. Boy. Today's trial. So you came to see the trial? Yes. Yes, I did. Something was bothering me last night. You see, I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just Mia's sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for that girl. Jesus. I've so I already realized that I fucked up his voice like three or four times already. <clears throat> I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for a defense? Oh, wait, I think I have a right to know. A right, Mr. Right? No, no. I'm sorry. It's just I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. I'm st starting to have a feeling I know what it is. Mr. Right. So, I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh, uh, oh, I see. 
Mmm, Mr. Grosberg, I have to admit something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just, uh... The photo, Mr. White. Why would you... Why wouldn't you defend Maya? Ah, fuck. Is it that one of the... Ah, oh, fuck. The photo of Mr. White. That photo of Mr. White. Why would you have his photo, Mr. Grossberg? Um, yes, well, it's been a long time since then. A long time ago? I'm sorry, but I think not. I think you still have the ties to Mr. White even today. Really? Whatever gave you that idea? What connection could I possibly have to an individual such as he? It's pretty straightforward, actually. He's blackmailing you. Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail? I... I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Mr. Grossberg, sir. There was a giant painting hanging right there the other day that was there not. The one you said you had no attention to parting with? Well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp, Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, tell me what happened. Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've become paying them. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? Jesus, dude. All because of the DL incident, as you may have guessed. The name of the ba on the back of those photographs? As you suspected, I could not stand the defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's so that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Red White will be the nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound and able to do harm to themselves and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. The DL incident. What is the DL incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a quest from a medium, a spirit medium. <gasps> no, this is the thing. Her name was Misty Faye. Faye, indeed. She was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder in the, at the bequest of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This was what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could do good for her and in the end cleared her cleared her of wrongdoing. The murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. Reason for blackmail. But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was a top secret at, at all time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I told him. You told White? He offered me riches. It was an embarrassment to me. It is an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked. The police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold, sold them out. Of course, White heard about it, and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country and he, as he sees fit. Yet, if, he, if, he, if you would still challenge him, have a cl close look at Mia's office. M Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Alright. Well, let's go back to Fanko Law Offices. It's funny, looking at this room. It seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. Alright. In here, all the cases the chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at it? Uh, let's see, Mr. White. Let's start. Let's just go A, A through I. Let's see if there's a record in it. And catch my A, B, C, F. Misty Faye. That's M Mia's and Maya's mother. 
Hmm, should I take a look? Read it. I have tarnished the fey name, leaving only these words, my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of the two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... Hmm, the record stops there. So me and new Grossberg. Hmm... In the case of the chief for worked on, blah, 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 blah. J through S. Let's see. J, S. Uh, nothing much in here. Maybe I'll just skim through this. Skim. <sighs> well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest part here was that the end in S. Suicide. Ew. She has a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. <sighs> There's something written on most of these in pencil. White. This is Mia's handwriting. Wait. I get it! Mia thought he was involved in the suic in these suicides. Why drove them all too? I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm. Let's find the most disturbing one. Newspaper clipping added to the court record. So I check Alright, check it one more time to see. T through Z. Give me T through Z. Uh you know white. Uh the entire W section is missing. Was it taken? Okay. All right, so you fucking asshole, let's... <sighs> Core record, what do I have, what do I have? Um, article by politicians who said the word white is written in the pencil at, at the top. Court record... Let me go back to Grossberg. Fucking Grossberg, here we go. Ugh. Son of a bitch. All right, everyone, I'm gonna leave the episode here, okay? Sorry about that. Like, I know oh, we're going through a lot. And, uh, I, I just really don't want to make these episodes too long, so that way they're still watchable. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Follow me on all my social media crap down below. My name is Jerome Coyno, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later!